Hey YouTube, got a quick update for our bed bug equipment. So, got some new machines. Dave Walters at Thermal Flow Technologies, him, Jen, and Linda hooked it up. Got a new Sleep Tight 800. Actually, got two of them. I uh, wanted to give it a run for. We have a new account that um, they've got a lot of small um, SROs, single room occupancy. They're like 200 square feet. And I thought these would be a great asset to have because. Uh, lugging up the Delta 175 and we have the Delta, I think it's an 85 is what they're called. Um, they suck going upstairs. So these new ones with the handlebar uh, secured, it's not like a click to lock in one. Um, it's supposed to be easier to go up and it feels pretty light. Like I can move this thing pretty dang easy. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try them out and actually got a job tomorrow. I'm going to put them to use in like a 450 square foot studio. Um, What's kind of cool, what I did, the first modification I did to it, which uh, according to the instruction guide, you can do it. They come with the uh, barbecue type adapters for the 20 pound tanks. Um, I put in a five foot hose, a Mr. Heater hose, and adapted it to where it can screw or thread into a 100 pound tank. That way I don't have to worry about uh, propane freezing up or running out of uh, propane on the job and I gotta shut down and go refill. This way I'll always have fuel. So it looks kind of cool, kind of sleek. I'm excited to see how it runs and uh, overall excited to see, you know, if it does perform like it's supposed to. According to the manufacturer, it's like 800 square feet on eight foot ceilings is what it's rated for. Um, the other machine they, that I have, the Sleep Tight 1200, it says 1200 square feet. Realistically, if I do a 1200 square foot in an apartment, it'll take me like three, four hours to get to a solid cooking temperature. So like I feel comfortable around a thousand square feet, even 900 is great. So if these work at even 75% capacity, which is still 600 square feet, I'm happy because I really got them for the small studios, the, the SROs, those kind of places where I can put them to use. So I'll update as I put them into use and let you know pros and cons and if you should add them to your bed bug fleet. So until next time. Oh, and uh, comment if you've used them or if you like and hate them, all that kind of stuff. I'd like to know. So thanks.